It seems like just yesterday that my life revolved around fitness. In reality, it's been about 10 years. <laughs> Lately, it's been a challenge to just fit fitness into my life. But I won't stop. Life will throw curveballs. There will be seasons when we have less time, motivation, and energy, all while having more responsibility and commitment. Even positive changes like marriage and kids require us to make adjustments to our routine. But I challenge you, <laughs> and I challenge myself, not to neglect the body that God gave us. Love it, respect it, train it, because it's not our own. Do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you've received from God? You are not your own. You were bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your bodies. 1 Corinthians 6, 19-20 Do you not know that in a race all runners run their very best to win, but only one receives the prize? Run your race in such a way that you may seize the prize and make it yours. Now every athlete who goes into training and competes in the games is disciplined and exercises self-control in all things. They do it to win a crown that withers, but we do it to receive an imperishable crown that cannot wither. Therefore, I do not run without a definite goal. I do not flail around like one beating the air, just shadow boxing, but like a boxer, I strictly discipline my body and make it my slave so that after I have preached the gospel to others, I myself will not somehow be disqualified as unfit for service. 1 Corinthians 9, 24-27 I have strength for all things in Christ who empowers me. I am ready for anything and equal to anything through him who infuses inner strength into me. I am self-sufficient in Christ's sufficiency. Philippians 4.13 And so, dear brothers and sisters, I plead with you to give your bodies to God because of all he's done for you. Let them be a living and holy sacrifice, the kind he will find acceptable. This is truly the way to worship him. Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good, pleasing, and perfect. Romans 12, 1 through 2. She equips herself with strength, spiritual, mental, and physical fitness, for her God-given task and makes her arm strong. Proverbs 31, 17. Do you not know that you are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy him. For God's temple is holy and you are that temple. 1 Corinthians 3, 16 through 17. No discipline is enjoyable while it's happening. It's painful. But afterward, there will be a peaceful harvest of right living for those who are trained in this way. So take a new grip with your tired hands and strengthen your weak knees. Hebrews 12, 11 through 12. It's true that our freedom allows us to do anything. But that doesn't mean that everything we do is good for us. I'm free to do as I choose, but I choose to never be enslaved to anything. 1 Corinthians 6, 12 But the Lord said to Samuel, Don't judge by his appearance or height, for I have rejected him. The Lord doesn't see things the way you see them. People judge by outward appearance. But the Lord looks at the heart. 1 Samuel 16, 7. Charm is deceptive 
and beauty does not last, but a woman who fears the Lord will greatly be praised. Proverbs 31, 30. So let's not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we will reap a harvest of blessing if we don't give up. Galatians 6, 9. A final word, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Ephesians 6, 10.